Ladies and gentlemen, we got a juicy one today. Not like Juicy Legacy, but in this one, we are going to be discussing quite a bit of things. We're going to be discussing AoE 1 event, AOM, AoE 4, AoE 2 community, some social media stuff, my tweet. Last but not least, Grand Finals of AoE 2 consisted some alleged bug abuse and there was a lot of people upset about it. So let's get into it. So first thing I want to do is uh, congratulate Marine Lord. He did win 3-0 uh, in the grand final show match thing. I gotta say, uh, I mean, I wasn't a fan of the whole like qualifier online for a show match. I've talked about this before, so I don't want to yap about it again. But I feel like uh, as a viewer, I did watch this, and as a viewer, um, as someone who was streaming during it and watching it and then casting the games, it kind of felt weird it didn't feel to me like a LAN like they were there and it was a LAN but it didn't really have that LAN feeling because it was just one match I think even if it was a, a four players or eight players I think it would feel a lot different there's like a build up this was like we waited two months and it's just a show match yeah um Regarding the games, I did make a video about them, but in general, I, I thought Poppy Pop would have basically like 1 or 2% chance to win. Not based on skill, Poppy Pop actually beat Marine Lord uh, about a month, month and a half ago in King of Dry Arabia. He beat him 3-2, to two. but because this is played on land, I thought that Marine Lord just has way more experience. And basically I said, you know, if he wins the first game, it's a 3-0. If Poppy Po wins the first game, I think it's he's still not favored to win that because the nerves will probably get to him. It's very difficult playing on the land. He's probably not playing his game. And, you know, when we watched the games, the games were not good. Um, I will say that. I don't. I also don't think Marine Lord played his absolute best. Uh, but in general, I thought the games were not very good quality. Like, there was a lot of very basic mistakes, and that comes to probably nerves. Like running knights into spearmen like super early in the game, um, forgetting upgrades, um, kind of just choosing to do not weird strategies. I thought the puppy paw Ayub and Hall Allen was good. Uh, it's just that little bit of miss micro and yada yada. But overall, um, I think that puppy paw would have had better chances uh, if this was online or if. This was a land, but it was like round of eight and then round of four and then finals because the players get to experience a little bit how it is playing at the land, how, you know, get used to it a little bit, right? Get into that kind of land mood. But this was like, you have to understand, they flew out, they spent there a couple of days and it's like, okay, one best of five and you're out. So, yeah. Now, <sighs> there was a lot of issues with this whole event. Okay, and some of it I mentioned before, some of it is new information, some of it I haven't mentioned. So, there's a lot of problems, like starting from the qualifiers, like the handbook was a disaster. Uh, basically, no one that has anything to do with AoE 4 was in charge of AoE 4. Uh, they clearly had no idea what they're doing. The handbook was a mess. I told them to they need to change like six things because they're just wrong. They put in a they put in Socotra in the map pool when Socotra didn't exist in Age of Empires 4, but that's an AoE 2 map. So they put it in the tournament, and then people from Microsoft were like in World's Edge were like, oh shit, like we don't Socotra doesn't exist in AoE 4. So they had to make it. That's the level of like how much fucks they did not give. So yeah, uh, you know, people working on AoE 4 had to make Socotra from scratch because the map does not exist at all. Right? Like the whole handbook was like saying Age of Empires 2 instead of Age of Empires 4. Um, the drafting was like weird, different. There was like um, um, one of the rules was like the score has to show in game, which literally we never did in AoE 4. It's only done in FFAs. And even that, I got like a pushback like, why would we not show score? And I'm like, because you don't do that in AoE 4. Like, bleh. you know? Um, it, it's it just. A lot of problems. Like they wanted to put some maps that, are, that have, have never been in competitive AoE 4. And we kind of had to fight for that. So that they put normal maps. Which I felt like I had to fix half the handbook for them. Like this is their job. But I had to fix it for them. 
so yeah, like interest from the get go in A4 was like zero. It, it kind of felt like we're forced to do this and we'll do bare minimum to do this. Yeah, there was also like random draft. So at one point you draft the maps and then the last five maps that are remaining, it just randomized which maps are getting vetoed. And then whatever is the last one is the first map. So it like removes any strategy or pre-planning. It's just like, it's completely random. Uh, and on top of it, it was supposed to be Empire Wars, right? Which, you know, they removed. Um, but from the get-go, the event was kind of like a clown fiesta. I've said this from the start, and they kind of gave like some... Well, it's it's not a show match. It's, a, you know, it's an event for AoE 4, AoE 2, yada yada, and AoE... But we all knew from the get-go, this was an AoE 2 event with like fillers, AoE 1, AOM, and AoE 4 on the side. Uh, I think even at one point, the host of the event, Riley, which he's a great guy, by the way. I met Riley. He's he's really good at what he does, but uh, he's not super involved into, um, um, I think, age games, maybe with Age of Empires 2. But he even introduced AoE 2 as, okay, we're going to go back to the main event soon kind of thing, which was Age of Empires 2. So whether he understood it that way or whether it was told to him like aoe2 is the main event these are just whatevers the whole event was focused on aoe2 and even i remember um like if there's a aoe2 game happening and then in between the aoe2 games they're discussing aoe2 they're discussing strategies i noticed i think it was in aom when after i finished game one they were discussing the grand finals that's happening after like it just very, in my opinion, very disrespectful, where it's like, they have AOM for an hour, and they can't even stick to it for an hour. Like, they have to talk about AOE 2 right after. You know, like, during AOM, like, during, between the games, right? So, it's very obvious, and, um, I, I don't know what's hard about saying, like, hey, this is an AOE 2 event, we got, uh, show matches for other games. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't like this uh, disingenuous like no no everything is getting treated the same it is not it is very disrespectful to even attempt to say that uh aoe one event i think went okay uh, uh winston and kp cast that i watched that i think they did a good job um you know aoe one is really popular in vietnam i don't know how well it did in um you know in general with the people outside of vietnam but i thought it was fun to watch AOE one uh, I wasn't molding that there's AoE 1 there or something like that. I thought it was pretty cool. And personally, I think it's cool that all the games are there. It's like you get a little bit of everything. Uh, AOM was between Mista and Recon. Congrats to Mista. He won. I think he hasn't dropped a single game from the qualifiers and the Red Bull like show match. He hasn't dropped a single game in AOM. So he clearly is like the best by far. I don't think people can even argue that that he are like lucky or he couldn't uh, you know this or that so he definitely is the best in AOM so I thought that was cool too I watched those games I haven't played AOM in a moment but I thought it was um it was fun to see you know there were some cool moments with uh with god powers but like I said I enjoyed it now on to AOE 4 at the event um <laughs> okay to give you a little bit of, of backstory um on day one, when there was only AoE 2, the internet did not work, okay? Apparently, the internet was not good enough. So on the first day, they delayed the mainstream by two hours. And then they just said, just start the games and people from homes can just cast it, okay? Because it was they couldn't fix the internet. So apparently, what the problem was... I don't, I, I don't know the details, I am guessing, because I was like, if there's a delay at the land, there's two things that are happening, okay, only two things. One is the computers are not working, right, which I'm assuming they have like probably 20, 30 computers then, so it's probably not that, and you could fix that within like half an hour, or it's the internet at this day and age, there's nothing else. So I'm assuming their internet did not work, or the upload was not strong enough, something along those lines which another thing apparently renting out that castle was more expensive than heidelberg castle so they paid more money for this event apparently than heidelberg which to me is crazy because we had was it 32 players at heidelberg no 30 wait was it it was 16 from aoe 2 16 from aoe 4 
and two from um, a um, AoE 1. And there was so much crew and stuff, but apparently it was very expensive. This one, that's what I heard. I don't know if this is 100% true. But, again, I don't know what happened, but, you know, they probably had in the moment issue with ISP or something. But I would not be surprised if the stream was not tested at all from the castle. Like... That's the level of organization that happened in this event. I would not be surprised that they just didn't check if the stream works. And then they started and then the upload just didn't work. There was also a lot of issues throughout the event with um, with quality of the stream, with like um, lag and stuff like that, which... Yeah. Um, so, with that being said, uh, this was AoE4 quality. So let me just let me just play this for you and um what quality is this again i don't know how visible it is because i'm restreaming the stream but they, it it is extremely grainy like extremely grainy so again i guarantee you this was not tested at all like because even if you don't play AoE 4, by the way, there is no way you look at this and you're like, yeah, that looks fine. The whole grass, everything is grainy as fuck. So there's something very wrong. People said there was also like issues with the sound on mainstream during AoE 4. And I generally don't think they tested it. People are saying the, the sound was fucked as well. Yeah, there was like stuttering. There was, I mean, look, you, you saw it right there. You see that? Let me go back. Look at this. Was it here? Oh, right there. I don't even know what graphic settings this is because I have never seen AoE 4 grainy. So, again, doesn't matter if they play AoE 4. I mean, they don't. But even if you didn't, you would see something's wrong here, right? And you would try to fix it. And I'm assuming because this was the final product, nobody tested this at all. Like, they haven't turned on AoE 4 to be like, Yo, let's see if everything works. So this was the um, this was the AOE4 event kind of quality that they ran with, which is to me crazy. Um, another thing in AOM, you see this overlay right here? In AOM, there's some uh, stats here, right? Like there's some stats like villagers or something. This overlay was just blocking it completely. Just, just completely. And again, if you just... Like, I've organized tournaments. If you just logged into the game once with the overlay, you would see that it's blocking it. Like, zero fucks given. Like, zero. They did fix it, but my point is, they haven't tested any of this. Nothing. AoE 2, probably they did, right? The other stuff is just like, whatever. So... Yeah, I don't know. I found this whole, like, situation with all of that just very um, unprofessional, very disrespectful towards these games to the point where they could have just let us play um, the rest of Red Bull Online. You know what I mean? It would have been better. It would have been amazing. We would have a good event with kind of like an ending, not like a qualifier into show match that was just fucking weird. Um, and I think even when Marine Lord won, which, um, let me, let me try to find it. Even when Marine Lord won, it was like, you could see that he wasn't like, fuck yeah, I won. He's just like, yeah, it's over. It, it yeah, it just weird, right? So look, th this is Marine Lord winning. This is the moment where players celebrate. You know, so let me, he claps, he gets up, right? He's like, okay, cool. I won the event. Because when there's like a bigger buildup, you know, there's a bigger excitement. Now, um, next thing. So we have, uh, there's been a lot of threads on both AoE and AoE 2 regarding this, but um, this is a, a Reddit thread for... Um, from AOE4. Disappointing Red Bull Wolo makes me appreciate EGC and other events more. No spoilers. Uh, Red Bull Wolo for AO4 was just a massive disappointment. I don't care about the result one way or the other, but the actual event just felt bad. The final to me seemed like everyone said it would be attacked on show match during an AOE2 event. 
the cast was super buggy on the first match. Uh, level of disrespect to their players for the timing as well. Like logically it made sense to have AoE4 final at the end of AoE2 semis, but on the same day, really. Um, so yeah, AoE4 was also on Saturday and the other finals are all played on Sunday. So there's that too. They started, I think, at like 9.30 p.m. The finals and it ended like 11.30, I think. 11, 11.30 in the evening. Um, and yeah, AoE 2 people will discuss, it, will discuss this as well. It was very, very obnoxious to say the least. Um, yeah, the top comment is I tuned out at official Red Bull because the toxic AoE 2 players... Uh, I hope AoE 4 gets to a point where it doesn't need to be bundled together with other AoE games. Production was not even good other than the location. The location was great. I think the players had fun, but apparently the computers uh, in the practice area, I don't know if it was the internet, but they did not work properly. So it's just a big, big mess in my opinion. Um, yeah, and like I said, there's no build up. It, it didn't feel like a LAN event, right? Um, at least to me as a, as a, as a viewer, right? Now... Regarding the viewership, I'll give you guys the numbers. Um, so AoE4 was on sa on Saturday evening, started at like 9.30, I think, and it ended at 11, 11.30, so it was pretty late. Um, most people are just like, in if they're in Asia, they're going to go to bed. Even in Europe, it was getting late. But the viewership count was... Age of Empires 1 on Twitch had 16k viewers, which in uh, Vietnamese streams and stuff, it probably had way more. And funnily enough, AoE 1 probably had the most viewers. Um, AOM had 29,000 viewers on Twitch. Mind you, AOM was before the grand finals of AoE 2, so a lot of people were tuning in waiting for AoE 2 to happen. So it's hard to judge how many players actually tune into AoE AOM. Uh, whereas AoE 4 was after AoE 2 semifinals, at which point if people were not interested for AoE 2, they just went off. Um, AoE 2 peaked at 43,000 on Twitch uh, during the finals and uh, during the all three days it was played. And then AoE 4 had peaked at 35,000 on Twitch. So it's a 43,000 versus 35,000 and we had a show match of one hour. So. You know, as the event goes, more and more people find out about uh, about the tournament. They're going to tune in. There's always more and more viewers throughout the event. Um, so the viewer di the viewership difference was not that big. And um, I know some people will say, and, and you know, I'll mention it. I'm not going to hide any information or something. Um, Marine Lord stream, uh, Marine Lord's team, sorry, Gentlemates was streaming uh, uh, at the same time, and I'm not sure how many viewers they had. But they're still viewers of the event like it doesn't matter if they're coming from here or there you're sponsoring an event as red bull and you are um 7 to 10k okay uh doesn't matter where they're coming from they're viewers and they watched your stream and they watched the the event right so the viewership difference was not that it was not that huge uh especially not to warrant um aoe2 you know getting like if you if you want to compare just viewer numbers, right? I'm not saying uh, they can run the, their events however they want, right? Like it's not that's not up to me. I'm just saying that this whole premise where they're gonna have 100k viewers or we're gonna have 8k is just not true. And we had a total time of like an hour, and we had 35,000, and they had 43,000 over like 20, 30 hour, uh, and that was their peak. So my point is if AOE four was ran at least 10 hours it will probably hit 40k right so the viewership difference is not that big but again it's their event and they can choose to run whatever the hell they want i just wanted to point that out because there's always like this aoe2 has a uh, trillion more viewers kind of attitude that a lot of people have and i'm not counting like youtube and and uh you know chinese streams and all that because i don't have numbers of those i just wanted to compare um twitch so next thing the chat. The chat was wild. If you guys tuned into the Red Bull stream, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And every time I tune into the Red Bull stream during AoE 1, AOM, or AoE 4, it was like message deleted, message deleted, three messages, message deleted, three messages, message deleted, message deleted. People were getting timed out constantly. And a shocker, it was all AoE 2 fans. And this is a screenshot that was posted 
on um, AOE2 subreddit, and I think someone named it What is Wrong With You or something like that. Why are you guys like this is the name of the thread. So these are all um, comments that people had when, um, when the event was running for other games. And obviously, when AoE 2 was playing, no one was like, I play AoE 4, why are we playing this medieval game? Why are we playing this shit? No one was saying that from AoE 1, AOM, or AoE 4. But yeah, these this is just, you know, examples, right? If it was AoE 1, they were shit-talking it. If it was AOM, they were shit-talking it. If it was AoE 4, they were shit-talking it. And uh, my one of the funniest comments that I've seen, and the irony in it, is um, someone saying during AoE 1, why would you ever play this outdated piece of shit when we have AoE 2 that looks better and is made, uh, was remade recently? And I was like, how can you be that stupid to not see the irony in what you just said? And then there was a bunch of comments like, AoE 4 wouldn't exist if AoE 2 wasn't made. Yeah, and AoE 2 wouldn't exist if AoE 1 wasn't made. Right? To me, that's very, like, you have to have an IQ of a fucking... You know what I mean to understand that. Um, and I think, by the way, I think if you're a fan of whatever game, I thumbs up. Like, I think it's very cool when people are passionate about their games. You don't need to put down other games because you're a fan of your game. Like, I, I don't ever feel the need when there's an AoE 4 event to type like, AoE 2 sucks! StarCraft sucks, guys! Why would anyone play Star... Like, let people enjoy what they enjoy, right? So, um, yeah. So anyway, this was the uh, AoE 4 viewer experience of Red Bull yada yada. Um, wait, is the thread deleted? by deleted unavailable wait what happened here <clears throat> maybe he got harassed a bit yeah so anyway the top comment is was pretty obnoxious as an aoe2 fan it was also embarrassing and bad look for our community so you do have people in aoe2 that 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 recognize this and see this as a problem as a long time fan of AoE 2 and AoE 3, this is really nuts about this outrageous. People here just love shitting on other versions of the game, which they know next to nothing about. It's not quite as bad as it used to be, but it's still a problem. So there are people that are genuinely aware of this. Yeah, you, you have normal people. I'm not saying all of the AoE 2 community is like bad. Obviously, it's not. Every community has their bad apples and, and you know, but... I'll go on that a bit more later. Never played it before, but why, uh, was fun to watch. Why the hate? Part of its bandwagoning and entire community has sprung the, up that prides itself on bashing A4, and that's how they have their fun. Another part is that the uh, two and four dev teams influence each other, yada yada. So there's this, like, conspiracy theory, I don't know what to call it, that when AoE 4 was released, AoE 2 didn't get, like, a DLC or something, and they directly blamed... AoE 4 for it and it's like this massive like tribalism just like us versus them is started right some people haven't gotten over the anxiety that age 4 being successful would mean less support for age 2 so yeah um a2 fans are pretty dumb when we talk about our games we're biased to think that games revolve around AoE 2 when in reality we're not that important it's the hard to understand AoE 4 is not trying to be AoE 2 and that it wouldn't be funny if you try to be exactly AoE 4 is it's in its own game. Like, we... AoE 2 is a game, AoE 4 is a game. They share a name, Age of Empires, but they're completely different games, and it's okay to like both or one of them, right? If you don't like, uh, if you don't like it, don't watch it. It's simple, no need to be a raging asshole, right? You kind of, you know... And if you want to go down to the cesspool, you can go to the bottom. Um, you know, most of the upvoted comments are... Um, like, AoE 4 hate is stupid, you know, we're better than this, and you go to the cesspool, and it's like, obviously, we're superior game and shit like that, right? Now, I saw this comment, and I've seen this comment quite a few times during the weekend, because there's been a bunch of threads for all this opening. Uh, all those critics is how StarCraft players have been, uh, have seen us playing AoE 2 for the past 20 years. Who cared we enjoyed our game all the same? Okay, 
This was the first time I have seen this, and I've seen this comment a lot in the past two days. I played StarCraft 1, I have played StarCraft 2 for 11 years. I never saw this in StarCraft 2. I don't think StarCraft 2 people even knew that there's tournaments in Age of Empires 2. Genuinely. By the way, I StarCraft community is a whole another special, right? I never got the impression that StarCraft 2 players were like bandwagoning against the OE. We, uh, uh, the games at the time had no interactions. Like, they didn't give a fuck about AoE. Not because AoE is smaller or whatever or worse. They just didn't give a fuck. With that, I disagree. StarCraft community is extremely toxic. I agree with that. Again, I don't know what you're disagreeing with. That's not what I said. What I said is... StarCraft 2, in all my years, I don't even remember it ever being a discussion comp comparing it to Age of Empires 2. Ever. Like, I don't remember that being a thing at any point. It's just, it's just like randomly saying StarCraft 2 players were always shitting on Rocket League. Like, why? It, the, game, the games are not even remotely together. But I found this comment quite a few times where it's like, StarCraft players have been shitting on us. And we handled it. So now we're going to shit on AoE 4. There's a big notion for that, which is like, okay. So I posted, um, I tweeted. I said, Jesus, the AoE 2 fans in Red Bull stream have to be the most obnoxious fans I've seen in a long time. Constantly shitting on any game that's not AoE 2, you would expect better from people who are 30 plus years old. I actually initially put 40, but then I put it down to 30 because I didn't want to, you know. And, um... There was a lot of people responding to it. You know, some people disagreed with me. Some people agreed with me. You know, that's just how it goes. Um, Daniela is from, I think she cast AoE too. She said, pretty sad to see the AoE flames are so much more respectful from what I could see from my lurkings on AoE 4 streams. Um, and I said, I don't understand what's happening. It's not just like, I'm not just talking about AoE 4. It's the same to AoE 1 and AOM. And she says... Oh yeah, well, that was a complete disaster to begin with. Mega rude to the host as well. Incredibly sexist towards the women on stage. The whole thing was incredibly hard to see. So, Mem responds to me. I met Mem uh, at the last Red Bull Wall of Love. You know, he was super nice to me. I have nothing against him. No bad words. But, this is the comment. AoE 4, AoE 1, and any other AoE is still there thanks to AoE 2 fans. So maybe you should consider that not few haters are the whole AoE2 fans and community, which is the best community, right? If not, watch whole Red Bull event and see if you have that atmosphere, if you have seen that atmosphere ever before. Which I feel like that tweet literally is what I am talking about. Like, that's literally what I'm talking about. Right? That's it. So let's dissect it. So I'm talking about people who are obnoxious and toxic. And your response is, you're here because of us. So what? First of all, if it was up to AoE 2 fans, they would burn AoE 4. Like they would destroy the fucking headquarters where AoE 4 is being developed. That's number one. There's no AoE 2 fan that's like, please put AoE 4 and AoE 1. They don't give a fuck. They're actively wanting to not have AoE 4 there. So that's not true at all. Second saying, like this whole thing, it's you're there thanks to us. Which, uh, that's, no. If anything, we have two players there because of you. Not because of him, but because of the AoE 2 community, right? And then, you should consider that not few haters. It's not few haters. There is a lot of haters. A lot. It's, I'm sorry, but this is not the case of vocal minority. They're not minority. I'm sorry. They're not. And then he goes, and community, which is the best. Which is, it, it's just like, I said one thing, and it went through one ear, went out the other, and then he told me how great AoE2 is. 
See if you have seen that atmosphere ever before. Yes, I have. I have participated in StarCraft 2 events that had like 10, 20,000 live viewers, or not 20, they had like five to 10,000 live viewers at DreamHack, at IMs, and it was way more fired up and it was way more passionate. I have seen Counter-Strike live events that were way more passionate. I have seen Counter-Strike fans chant. I've seen League of Legends events that were more passionate. So nothing wrong with being passionate, but to say, have you ever seen that before? Yes, I have at multiple other games, actually. I'm not saying that AOE 4 is like more crazy than AOE 2. That doesn't matter. I'm just saying I, I have seen that before. People are passionate about their games and that's great. I think that's really cool. I think people being passionate about their games is, is great for that game. And, and I'm happy for the people that are fans of something that can support it to that level. I'm all thumbs up for that. I, I didn't see the need to put down other games. Like imagine if there was like a CSGO event and people are like lifting like Valorant sucks. Fuck Valorant. Uh, fuck Overwatch. It's like, why? Just enjoy your game, right? Um, so I said, we both know it's not a few haters. Look at Twitch chat, look at YouTube. Um, Reddit or any other forum, it's everywhere. AoE2 community is obnoxious and toxic towards anything that's not AoE2. AoE2 is a great game, pros and community figures are great. Again, I have nothing against pro players from AoE2. I've met them all. They're, they're great guys. They're super fucking chill. They're great guys. I had a lot of conversations with them at the last Red Bull. We were hanging out, we were talking about AoE2, we were talking about AoE4. I didn't get this from them at all. Right? I didn't get like, do you guys play AOE 4? No, nah, they were interested about the game. I was like, I remember I was discussing with Hera quite a lot about the game. I was discussing with Leary, like my green range units in AOE 2 compared to AOE 4. There was no animosity between the players. I met casters from AOE 2. There was no animosity towards the games. Like I had great talks. I met T90. I met, um, I met Jordan. I met Memb as well. Like, I met all their casters, everyone was super nice, right? I'm not, and, and AoE 2, by the way, not a game for me, but it is still a great game, right? A lot of people still play it, a lot of people still love it. It's a great game. So I said, the fans on the other, I missed hand. It's supposed to be the fans on, of AoE 2 on the other hand. And I said, you can love your game without putting other community slash games down. The whole we have community like no one does kind of adds to it. There's plenty of gaming communities that love and are passionate about their games, that's not the issue, and you might be missing the point. And I said, and the last AoE 1, AoE 4, and AOM is here because of AoE 2 is exactly what I'm talking about. What does that have to do with what I said in the first place? It's just putting other games down, and we should listen to obnoxious shit because of it? And I said, I'd rather just not have AoE 4 there. Right? To give you guys a perspective, if someone is... Like, if someone in my chat says, I don't like AoE 2, or, like, we're discussing games, and someone says, I tried AoE 2, I don't like it, I'm not gonna time out someone for that. If someone is being obnoxious in my chat, I'm not saying during the tournament, I'm saying during a regular stream, and someone's like, AoE 2 sucks, fuck AoE 2, they get timed out for a day, and then moves into a permaban if they continue, because I don't want that in my streams. And, in by the way, and I'm not gonna go around mod other streams, I don't... You know, I got better things to do, right? But I feel like maybe they should do that with their community. And maybe that would help it. Maybe that would help the situation. And not like, AOE 4 fucking sucks, I hope he dies. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then they keep playing. Like, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be your attitude. Maybe people should be called out on that. Like, you have a lot of community figures. There's a lot of people from AoE 2 that don't follow me. I don't know who they are agreeing with me, right? So maybe if a lot of people, and you saw that Reddit thread, that was an AoE 2 subreddit. A lot of people agreeing with it. Maybe people should start, you know, if you're a streamer or community figure, maybe you should start calling out that shit. Maybe you should start timing it out. It makes your community look bad. It doesn't make me look bad. Like, AoE 4 is fine, it's doing great, we're probably gonna have a big DLC very soon, it's gonna spike up the numbers, and it's probably gonna do really well. But it makes your community look really shit, 
And for me as a streamer, and to a lot of people that watch my streams or YouTube videos, maybe they wanted to try your game. They wanted to try AoE 2. And this is what they see? This kind of attitude and, and shit towards other games? Of course they're not going to try your game. They're not. If there was ever a point where I was going to stream AoE 2 and try it out for fun and learn it, why would I? Do you know what would happen if I streamed AoE 2? I would get flamed to shit because I am from AoE 4. That's what would happen. Dave uh, bans Shatters. Dave is a great guy as well. And it, I'm not saying they should all just perma ban people, but they should, you know, maybe say, hey, let's not do that. You know, it doesn't take a lot. Like, I'm not saying start a fucking crusade against people who are obnoxious. Just be like, hey, let's not do that, guys. It's not cool, you know? Let's not encourage it by letting it go on. So, funny thing is, um, a lot of people, when I discussed this yesterday, a lot of people compared Brood War and StarCraft 2 to AoE 2 and AoE 4. And I 100% agree, by the way. So, I used to play StarCraft 1, and then I played StarCraft 2. And at some point, I went to play Brood War. And it's the, it's the same situation, right? It's the same same thing. And I was streaming Brood War for about maybe 100 or 200 people. And the comments that I had were... Like, I got S rank very quickly, which is like the highest rank. The comments weren't like, Yo, dude, you got S rank, congrats, like you're doing great. They were The comments were something along these lines. You're playing really well for a StarCraft 2 player. I didn't expect a StarCraft 2 player can learn how to do that. And I was like, what kind of fucking... I was like, what kind of comment is that? It's like, oh, I'm giving you a compliment. I was like, no, you're being a dipshit, right? And I guarantee you, I firmly believe with my whole body and soul, if I went to AoE 2, the same thing would happen. I 100% believe it. 100%. No doubt in my mind. And I got the... By the way, and I was loving playing Brood War. I really enjoyed it. I played Brood War when I was a kid. And this was like maybe six years ago. And I loved playing it. I had a lot of fun. It was so annoying. And the, the comments were so much that I just stopped playing. And I said, the Brood War community is fucking obnoxious. And I don't want to like... Every time I win, it's like, lol, StarCraft 2 guy beat this guy. It's like, we're not... It's not like people from StarCraft 2 were like brain dead or something. You know what I mean? It was just constant like just yapping, right? And I stopped playing Brood War. And I said, fuck it. And fuck your game. You know? The reason I'm telling you I'm saying this I'm telling this story is if you think that this doesn't matter or it's not a big deal or it doesn't happen or who cares, it, it does affect your game long term. I don't know anyone from AoE 4 that doesn't see AoE 2 community like this. Like every once in a while, outside of the tournaments, we get a red thread. Why do AoE 2 people hate AoE 4? Like, do you think it's, it's like a big conspiracy and it's like, oh, it's just like 10 people that are doing it. It's not. It's a lot more. A lot, a lot more. And it doesn't look good for your game. And I hope that this kind of tribalism and boomer shit never happens in a4 and i'll always actively ban or time out these people that do it to other games like i don't like aoe 2 it's not a game for me but and and you can ask my stream you can ask my youtube every time someone comes to my chat and says hey i come from starcraft 2 uh i saw both aoe 2 and 4 doing well which one should i try i don't say AoE 2 sucks, dude. Play AoE 4. It's, it's a game for boomers. I say, you know what? Try both. See what you like. You know? Try both. Maybe you like AoE 2. Maybe you like AoE 4. They're different games. I think you should try both. Why not? And if we had that kind of thing going on, it would be better for both games. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like AoE bad, AoE 2 good. I don't know if it's just boomer shit. I don't know if they're like, uh, 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 like thinking that if AoE4 does well, 
AOE 2 is gonna like not get DLCs and then it's gonna over they're not gonna get supported I don't know what the deal is I can tell you that AOE 4 is getting expansions and will continue to get them it's not gonna change yeah I don't know so yeah uh, that's kind of wanted to say about that um, I, I genuinely hope that that people realize this and I knew this about AoE 4 for a while, like the situation between AoE 2 and 4 for a while. And I, by the way, I'm sure there's people from AoE 4 doing the same thing. The numbers of those people doing it is way lower, right? The reason I, I want to talk about this is because I saw it happening to AoE 1 and AOM. So it's not just AoE 4, it's just like, all games bad, our game perfect, other communities shit, our community is the best. It's not. Like, I'm sorry, but it's not. And um, I want to say one more thing. If your community loves you and you have a great time in AoE 2 community, if other people are telling you, hey, you know what? Maybe there's, there's quite a few bad apples there. You know, maybe, you know, you can't say, but they're nice to me, though. It's like, you know what it reminds me of? Everyone knows this person. Everyone met this person IRL. You know that person that is like really nice to you? They're really good friends. But then when they go to restaurants, they're rude to waiters. They are rude to other people. They don't like when they see someone coming, they don't hold the door. But they're nice to you though. You know what I mean? They're nice to you though. So that makes it all okay. They're not assholes. They're nice to you. So that's what matters. Um, and if the whole thing is like, well, AoE 4 is there because of AoE, AoE 2 and Red Bull, then fuck Red Bull. Like, don't organize shit events like this for AoE 4. I'm sorry. But the event was awful. The best part of the LAN event was the qualifiers. What does that tell you about the event? Like, I, I'm saying this as a player, as a viewer, as a, as a, as a YouTuber, right? If this is how it is, just, I would rather just not have AOE4 events there. That's just me. Like, I don't want this, like, pathetic, like, disrespectful, not even half-assed. It's, like, not even asked. You know what I mean? Just zero effort put into a tournament. Zero. Just don't, don't make it, man. Just skip it. And by the way, uh, my, my theory, my conspiracy theory is um, in the first Red Bull, the difference between AoE 2 viewership and AoE 4 was a lot larger than now because what I was told recently is that AoE 2 was on the front page of Twitch at the time, so the viewership was like a lot higher. I don't know what the viewership was like. Let's say it was like 80k and AoE 4 had like 35k. Now the viewership numbers were a lot closer. So my suspicion is they just did this because Microsoft either forced them to do it or asked them to do it. Like, please include the like AOE4, AOE1, and AOM. And my theory is that next year they're gonna say, well, do you know, they were gonna say due to lack of interest, we're just gonna do AOE2 kind of thing. Or budget cuts or whatever. So it's kind of like we went from big event to like a show match to meh. But I kind of wonder what they're going to do now, considering the viewership for AOE 4 was almost identical to AOE 2 with one hour of showing. So, we will see. Um, we will see. I don't know. So, the last thing we're going to discuss is in the grand finals of AOE... I kind of wanted to give my take on this. Uh, isn't that positive? What the hell? Okay. So, in the grand finals in game 4, so it was a 2-2... And, and by the way, as we go, this is what I got from reading. I don't play AoE 2, so all the info I got was from reading on the Reddit thread. So, it says 2-1 to one there. Oh, did I say 2-2? Two, two? I meant it's fourth game 2-1. Um, so, I got all the info from the Reddit because I don't play AoE 2. Um, but basically, what Hera did is uh, patrol Micro with his units. So, they kind of stacked... And basically when Viper attacked into them, basically he was able to stack, let's say, 10 units in one spot and Viper only had 3 units attacking. Does that make sense? 
Uh, yeah, can we see the other game in Camel vs. Pikes as well, by the way? I heard about that. I haven't seen I've seen this one. So, right here, he does the patrol so you can see there, like, as the camels are coming. He's basically putting a lot more units in the, in the smaller surface area so they're doing more DPS, right? So, if you have that other clip, I'd love to see it as well. Basically, that's what happened. Um... And, you know, in the chat, people started, um, people were like, Hera is exploiting, boring match, he is using the bug, he's abusing the bug, that's bullshit, cheating, and so on and so forth. Um, so I kind of wanted to give my take on it, so there was also the admin wrote, um, someone said, is the stand ground patrol unit stack abuse consider glitch abusing, looks sus as fuck, and he says, it's not. Um... Now, before we, we move into um, my opinion of if it's fine or not, um, basically, at this point, so a lot of people were calling out casters um, that they didn't say it was a bug abuse. They said it was like micro trick that he was using and, you know, nothing was done. He wasn't penalized or anything like that. And the finals went on. First things first. This was not in the rules. I'm, I'm telling you this from a tournament organizer point of view, admining, and just having my experience in like StarCraft competing and AoE4 competing, okay? Let's say this was a uh, bug or whatever. Let's say this was a bug and it's not intended, whatever, and this happens. More often than not, they're going to let pretty much like 95% of the time, they're going to let the games continue and not do anything. Why? Well, because, and and you could also see if you watch the games, the casters were kind of like, oh, he's micraing, right? They didn't know what to do. Now, you can't say as a caster, oh my god, he's abusing bugs. That's not supposed to happen. Obviously, you can't do that. That's very wrong and very unprofessional. Maybe as a caster, you're caught in the moment. You don't really, you probably don't know the fucking handbook by memory maybe you're like oh maybe it is allowed i mean he is using it so i don't know right so as a caster what a you know you're professional you're paid to be there and cast you're not going to call it out in the spot and and do god knows what so casters didn't do anything wrong you continue your cast as it is that's it right there's nothing much you can do about it now from an admin point of view i don't know what the the consensus was um I don't know if they were aware that that's possible or not, but even if they were not aware, it is a big clown fiesta. If an admin pulled out Hera and says, you're getting a loss for that game, because that was never in the rules, right? So even if it is a bug, if they went up to Hera and said, you're going to lose that game, we have to remake because you used it, he can just say it's not in the rule book that it's not allowed which just creates a whole clown fiesta it makes everything fucking awkward and weird which is why these things should usually be or usually are clarified before determined so the fact that this is not online the fact that it is live makes all of this a lot harder to enforce a lot harder to do so most more often than not the admins and everyone will just go along with it, even if it is wrong. And I know that sounds stupid, as in like, oh, it's wrong, why are they allowing it? But that's kind of the perspective, right? It's kind of like a big deal if they're like, oh, interrupting him and, and telling him to, to get out of the game and it's not allowed and, you know, stuff like that. It's a weird situation, but again, I don't know if the admins were aware of it. It was not in the rule book. So I'm assuming they're just letting it happen, right? And from what I've read, this um, um, was, you're able to do this since a month ago. I don't know if it didn't exist before or they just found it out. Um, but people have known about this for about a month before the tournament, right? So let me find, um, let me find this other clip. T90 said that devs are going to. T90 said that devs are going to remove this in the next patch. 
Um, so here we go. Same thing against um, Spearman, basically, of AoE 2, where he mows them down um, with cavalry. Which, again, I don't play AoE 2, so I don't know if this would have been... Uh, I don't know if this is a massive difference. I'm assuming that he would have lost at least a few of these. Uh, but he kind of just mows down the Spearman with them. So the whole situation is very, from organizer point of view, uh, and in the mo, it's a finals as well, so it's not like it's a group stage match. It's a group stage match, they can pause, they can like decide, they can ask around, but the fact that it's, it's on the stage, it's in the grand finals, it's a lot harder to make in the moment decision. Now, apparently the devs are aware of it and they're gonna remove it soon, um, yada yada. So that's how that is. So there's also people opening threads. Is this legal? Um, 45k, I'm doing it every time. So a lot of people were very disappointed by this. They, they called Hera like cheater and bug abuser and this and that. And, you know, everyone's got their opinions. And then people even went as far to say like, this is why Viper is the goat and why Hera will never be. And, you know, so on and so forth. Again, I don't know it, what the situation is behind the scene. Maybe Hera asked the admin if this was allowed. Maybe he just saw it wasn't in the rules and used it. Whatever the case is, I don't know the details. I'm just kind of explaining to you the, the, the backstory. Now, what I found weird, and please someone correct me if I'm wrong. Don't people do this in AoE 2 forever with ranged units? I have seen this so many times where people take... 20 crossbows or whatever they're called and they stack them and then they do that right so what why is this a problem and that is not like i remember seeing that crossbow shit like two years ago i have seen it with boats as well people do the patrolling with boats and 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 boats stack up and they like fucking one shot whatever comes into play so i don't really understand what the problem is with this I'm not saying it's not a bug, right? But I'm not. I'm saying, why is the other thing not a bug? Why is the other thing allowed? Because in my opinion, doing it with ranged units is even more broken. Because they're ranged units. So it's a lot more abusable, right? You can move them and then do the patrol, right? And they're ranged. My personal take is... Um, if the range stacking has been allowed, not just here, but in the previous tournaments and no one had an issue with it, I don't see what the issue it is with this. If the range unit stacking didn't exist and nobody knew about this and then he used it, you can make an argument it's bug abusing and maybe admin should have inter interfered with this. But if you're doing it with other units, I mean, what's the difference? Melee pathing associated is more beneficial to do that. For sure, you so yes, because melee units need uh, an area to attack, so they need to be in position to attack. So you're improving your DPS by way higher percentage by stacking 30 melee units than if you stack 20 range units. 20 range units might have been able to attack anyway at the same time, but melee units would have not. But my point is, it's the same thing. Like, yes. This is stronger because melee units should not be able to do that much damage, right? Because they're so stacked. But it, it does exist in the game and it's been existing for a while and people have been using it for a while. So I personally don't understand the, the outrage. At the end of the day, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, Viper and Hera are teammates. If it was a problem, I feel like Viper would have said something as well. Like, if this is something outrageous and shouldn't be used, he would have maybe said something. I don't know. I feel like that's on Viper to, to bring up. I don't know. So, it, it's one of those things where... I feel like it's weird to blame Hera for this, but then every other player is doing the crossbow stacking, and that's okay. It's like... Or ship stacking and, and everything else. Yeah, and someone said in the chat that the devs are going to remove this in the like upcoming patch or something. Is this getting room for ranged units as well? Or is it just the melee units? That's my question. Because if they're just fixing the melee stuff, then it's even weird. It's even weirder. So I don't know. I feel like maybe they should... Like, either the... the, the 
I feel like someone should speak up on it that has more idea in how aware people were. Because otherwise, I think the community is just gonna shit on Hera for this and be like, oh, he just won because he's abusing. Because I've seen some comments that, like, he won the game anyway. At that point, it's like he used it, but it was kind of over anyway, which, again, I don't have enough understanding of AoE 2 to kind of go on, but, yeah. And last thing I wanted to talk about, uh, by the way, is the, um... I, I actually forgot about this. I was gonna mention earlier, but I forgot, which I find funny. So, as you guys know, Marine Lord is a little shit, and uh, in the winner's interview, he got asked something, I don't know, and he said... Fuck, what did he say? He said, like, they all suck, and I'm the best. And what can I say? Like, yeah, I got invited, but <laughs> it's not because I'm that good. It's because they all suck, so it's not really on me. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, fighting words. Right? Something along those lines. Someone, someone maybe has the exact one. Which I was like, you know, I saw that on my stream and I laughed and I found it, I found it funny. Like, it's Marine Lord goofing around, you know? He's... He actually got some flack for that in AoE 4. Because people were like, he's not representing the community well, and what are other communities gonna think of us? They're gonna think it's so unprofessional. You know, stuff like that. Which... I mean, sure, but... To me, it's like, who cares? Like... I think everyone in AoE 4 is, like, aware of Marine Lord and, you know, what he's like. And I think people... If they're from AoE 2 and they're like, oh my god, this is their winner, he's so, he's so toxic, it's like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I just, I just found it funny where people were like, we need, we need better representatives at the top level in Age of Empires 4. It's like, okay, bro. It's not the right thing to say right after winning? No, I agree it's not the right thing, I just don't think, I just don't think it's a big deal, right? Like, I'm not saying that he should be like, yo, fuck everybody, losers, get, you know, I don't think he should be saying that, but I just don't think it's, it's, like, it's whatever, you know? Yeah, he, he did also say he is not good, right? So he should talk himself and everyone else. So I, I personally think, though, don't, don't think it's a big deal and people should not give him shit for it. It was funny. And um, I think after all this, I don't think we should be super worried what AoE 2 people will think of our community. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Checked out. Yeah, I mean, this will stick... The thing is, this will probably stick around, by the way. And, uh... And, uh, yeah, what Cascade wrote in the chat. I didn't say GG once to my teammate when I lost in StarCraft 2. This was, like, 2011 or 12. And I kid you not, about six months ago... I kid you not! Someone about six months ago, I was on the StarCraft subreddit, not even StarCraft 2, StarCraft subreddit. And someone's like, where is Beast? I used to watch his videos. Does he not do StarCraft anymore? And one of the top comments was, I disliked him from the moment he didn't GG to his teammate in a tournament. And I was like, oh god, no. I was like, bro, it's been 13 years! Move on! Like... All I did was not type GG at the end of the game, by the way. 13 years! That guy ain't ever gonna forget it, you know? So yeah, Marine Lord, what he said, people will remember it. 99% uh, of the guy was memeing though? I don't think he was. Which, by the way, for the record, after I lost that game, I didn't type GG, I left. And then I typed GG, it was against Happy. Happy from Warcraft 3, I used to be in team with him uh, in StarCraft. And I did PMMGG, but bro, it was already all over. It was already all over. So, yeah. I am known as the guy who didn't GG like 13 years ago. So yeah, that is it. That is it for the Red Bull. Um, I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoyed the Red Bull in 2022. Um, I thought it was a lot better. I thought it was better organized. I thought... The event as a viewer was better. I thought the event was as a player was better. The format was better. Uh, I don't see Red Bull doing another AoE 4. I would be shocked if they did. I think the next one is just going to be AoE 2. But good thing is we'll still have our own events. 
Uh, and there's still going to be plenty of tournaments in AV4, so... That's it. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. If you're watching on Twitch. Let's keep going, brothers.